Hello guys on YouTube, this is me Vinfreak and today this is a tutorial on how to install Mac OS X 10.3 Panther onto an iMac G3 as you can see. It's, a, it's the second generation model I believe with um, CD drive 350 MHz G3. I think this one has 300 and something mags of RAM, um, keyboard, mouse, I don't know on how much I put into this because it turned out that lots of my RAM sticks were faulty. And today, as I said, I will show you on how to install it and how to install the OS in there. So if you boot up the CD, I might edit this in, you see a language tutor and then you're in the screen. And what do you do have to do now? First of all, if there was no OS uh, on the disk or if you inserted a blank disk or disk you just wanted to form it, you have to go to Installer and then open uh, Disk Utility. Mine said a German that's like may look a little bit uh, foreign to you. Um, well, I'm sorry for the for also for you know the flickering that's going on. It's because of the CRT monitor not compatible with um, with my monitor. As I said, right? Yeah. Okay, so here we have uh, this was an XP drive. Now we can repartition this. Well, whoops. Well, we can repartition this to one partition. And say we want to have a Mac OS X extended journal. Now we will want to name the drive maybe. You can do that afterwards if you like, but I like to name mine first. I like to do it classic way by saying Macintosh HD. And uh, we're just going to partition. And beware, if you now press partition again, all the data that is on the drive will be lost. And we will partition it. Since that drive is already backed up. There we go. Here it is. Now I have my Macintosh HD. We click on continue. Continue. Agree. Now we have it loads a while and, and it. What? Well, that's interesting. Okay, folks. So if you have that back as I did. Uh, sorry for the stripes, I'm sorry. Now I can see I don't have a red X, but instead I have a green uh, arrow, which means I can install it as a volume and the button continue is visible to me. So, um, what I have to do is, um, I had to reboot the machine by going onto installer and um, quit installation program or whatever it is in English, it's uh, command Q and then just reboot the machine and it reloaded the disk um, of OS X um, Panther and then basically I went forward to this screen and it was there. So if you have problems with partitioning and it doesn't let you uh, install on that just reboot your machine like I did uh, and the installer reboot the machine and then it should be fixed. What you can do here an option is for example, if you had an old OS X version, you could uh, either just install OS X, which means it would get rid of the old OS X installation and all of your settings and reinstall uh, OS X. Archive and install, which means it basically puts all your old stuff into the folder previous system, um, but you cannot boot the system. And you can tick this checkbox in order to, you know, have your user files moved into the new system and all your settings. The last option we have here is um, to, to format and install uh, or erase and install like it should, call, should be called in English. Um, basically, you can format your drive with this option and tell it what format it should use. But because I formatted the drive already, I'm going to choose just to install Mac OS X. And now, we could um, 
go ahead and install and tells us we should have Mac OS 10 install disk 2 because this here is a CD machine um, and therefore it's a CD version of Panther. There are CD version of CD versions of Panther, Tiger, and I think Leopard. I think there are, there's an 8 CD version of Leopard, but I don't know that for sure. Um, there is, that's what I know and what I own, is a CD version of Panther and a CD version of Tiger. So, what we can do here in that screen, we can customize our installation and, uh, you know, tell them what we want and what we don't want. For example, I wouldn't want Internet Explorer on this thing, to be honest. Well, I might keep it on there just for, you know, legacy purposes. I don't want to have any printer drivers on there except the GIMP drivers, which are also called Gutenprint, which is basically an open source printer driver, which is really good. It's better than Apple's printer drivers. Additional fonts is what I want to have. I also want to have Asian fonts, which is only 5 megs. X11, and I don't want to have all the other languages except German because I'm German and I'm you know not going to change languages soon and it tells me I need 1.8 gigabytes on my drive which is no problem since this one is 40 gig now I can click on install and uh, it, wa it wants to check the CD for any errors but we can skip this because I know that CD is good now it checks the hard drive and now we will install Mac OS. Um, well, during the installation, the system will ask you to insert other CDs if you don't have DVD versions of your system. Um, if it does not, well, it's fine. But lots of times it will ask you to insert CD2, CD3, CD4, so be sure to have all your CDs on hand. If you don't have it on hand, it's going to install CD1, and if you only have CD1 and CD2 on hand, great. Just search for them now, because it's going to take like 15 to 20 minutes, this installation. And I will be back when we're asked to change CDs. Oh boy, we're back. And it spit out the CD, and it tells us to switch CDs, and I will do that right now. Then continue video capturing, I think, after I change CDs. And it will automatically detect whether there is a new CD inserted or not. I will try to reach over and insert the CD. So, well, let me just try if that works or not. It does, I hope. It says install disk 2. I inserted install disk 2. I hope it works. And will it? By the way, if your Mac randomly restarts and then asks you after, you know, for the CD, no problem. That's totally normal. It needs to restart a couple of times during the installation. There it goes, guys. After the installation, we finally have an intro video. And an assistant where we can, you know, go ahead and set our set a, uh, our system up. Well, the Apple ID system is not active anymore, I believe. It doesn't log into iCloud. Uh, we'll skip this if it works. I hope so. Well, we cannot just skip this. Uh, so I will enter that information and come back to you. Okay, now I set up my account. Click on OK. And it's creating my account. And, well, I don't want to configure my Ethernet right now. And I don't want to register with Apple. And I'm not in Cupertino. I'm also not in Berlin, but in, I'm in Germany. And that date time is correct. Done. And now we should agree it with the Panther desktop. And we are. Oh, and before I forget it. What you should do after installing Mac OS X is you should connect to the internet with either that Mac or another computer. If you could do it with this Mac, you should go ahead and go to the software update. If you cannot go online with that Macintosh that you're installing on,
just go ahead on another computer that you have uh, online access to and download the Mac OS X 10.3.9 combo update. That's, I don't know how big it is, but download it and transfer it via USB drive or via Firewire drive over to that Macintosh and run it. This will bring your OS to the newest possible version and it will update if you can do it with that Mac and use software update, it will update all your software. But I currently cannot go into the internet, so I don't want that. And thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.